Okay. Um, this first uh, question is Tony. Um, I hate the fog. I feel. I know it's irrational, but it feels like an entity that thinks and moves and watches. Am I bonkers? And what can I do to, f to fix this if uh, indeed I do need to fix it? Wonderful. And that's the sort of thing we like to try and crack onto. And okay, well, I, 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 I don't know if this is going to reassure you at all, but um, I have to, I, I've got to, te I got to tell you that fog is an entity and there's different fogs and it, it does think. And it does, it doesn't talk, but it thinks. And when you're in the fog, it's enveloping you. And it will try and steal your soul um, if you die in the fog. So try not to die in the fog. Just, you know, sit tough, hang in there till the fog goes and you're going to be okay. I mean, it works as a metaphor uh, for, for life, you know. You're in a fog. You feel like it's haunting you. It is. Accept it and then let it go. And hopefully the fog won't follow you around. I mean, winter fog is a particularly nasty fog. But you know, ultimately, if we don't let it get to us, the fog can't hurt us. So try and remember that. Hey, fog, you may be all around me and you, you may have really made my visibility poor, but that's not going to get me down, fog. And in fact, you know what I'm going to do, Fog? I'm going to rise so far above it, I'm actually going to find a way to like you. Yeah, I'm going to say to myself, oh, gosh, the fog is so atmospheric. Hasn't the fog made this situation look so timeless? That's what I'm going to do, Fog. I'm going to own you. I own you, Fog. Well, I hope that was good advice to that caller who, who says... Please don't say my name. Well, you should have just written in anonymous, you silly knucklehead. But I seriously, I won't mention your name, Ben Burchill. <laughs> oh, damn. 